What the hell are you doing here? They came here looking for you. Where'd you get that truck? Where's Lizzie? Your doctors were here looking for you. You need to go back before you hurt yourself. This is my only chance. I have to see her. Cheryl, listen to me. I have to see Lizzie. I have to spend one more day. Lizzie, please. Damn it. Mark, you are having another spell. Please, I, I even packed sandwiches. Sit down and relax. I'm gonna call the hospital. No! You're keeping my daughter away from me. She's inside? She's inside! No, Mark, no one's inside. The fire happened over a year ago. You're full of lies. She's locked inside. She's a prisoner in there. No, nobody. Fine, you know what? Go inside. There's no one there. All you're gonna do is open a door to a pass that's gonna haunt you. so much. You're so much older than I remember. I brought lunch, sandwiches. I thought maybe we could go down to the pond and have a picnic. We haven't done that for a long time. Or we could stay here and you could draw me something. Do you remember, Lizzie, you used to draw yeah. this little guy? When I was seven. I don't like drawing your picnics anymore. What are you drawing now? This is different. I don't like the name Lizzie. Remember? All right. I won't call you that anymore. Come on, let's go do something fun. I've got something for you. It's a surprise. It's in the backpack. Come on. So, how is school going? I'm not in school anymore. What? Since when? I promised you a surprise. This is very special. I want you to have it. And I should have given it to you a long time ago. What is it? Open it, you'll see. Do you like it? Yes. But you already gave this to me when I was a little kid. <laughs> no. You've never seen this before. Here, let me put it on you. This was your grandmother's. 
She loved crosses just like you do. Take very special care of it. One day you can hand it down to your kids. I can't have kids. What? Don't be silly. I'm not being silly. It's the truth. Why are you here, Dad? Those doctors can help you. You need to go back and take care of yourself. What do you mean? You're not making sense. I'm not going anywhere, and I don't need a doctor. You need to let me go, Dad. You can't come back here anymore. What are you, on drugs? Dad, I'm being serious. We've been through this already. I can't be your daughter anymore. At least not like this. You need to go back It's your and... mom. She's telling you lies. She's brainwashing you to think I'm crazy. That's not true. Mom would never do something like that. What is she telling you? Tell me, Lizzie, what is she telling you? Dad, stop, you're hurting me. I only wanted to be a good father to you. I only wanted to spend time with you. Your mother, she's tearing us apart. I don't like it when you run from me. I'm sorry for grabbing you. I'm not crying because of that. Dad, you really don't remember what happened to me? Well, I got upset and I grabbed your wrist. Not that. I know you love me, and you want to spend time with me, but it can't be like this anymore. Trust me, I would give everything for it to be all back to normal. And I know you tried everything that day, and when... Uh, see, I just don't understand what you're talking about. I forgive you, Dad. And I will always be your daughter. But not here. Not like this. She ran off and I didn't get to tell her that I love her. Here, keep this. I called the hospital and they're going to be here in a few minutes. Probably cold. She's probably back in the forest. I, sh I should probably go drive to the car. You are in no position to drive. Gotta go. Mark, get out of the car. Cheryl. No, I just want to help you. I'm okay. I'm fine now. I'm going back to the hospital. Just stay and wait. Please. Will you tell her that I love her and that I tried so hard to be there for her? Elizabeth? Is that you? Oh, I love you too, Lizzie. Elizabeth, don't go! Please, come back! Dear Mark, 
I'm glad you're feeling better. When you showed up that day, I was scared for you. You just lost it in the truck. I want you to know that you did everything to save Elizabeth. I don't blame you, and I know she wouldn't either. The report said that the fire moved so fast and there was nothing anyone could have done. Lizzie would want you to know this. She also would want you to get emotionally strong and healthy again. Take one day at a time. You can always call me if you need someone to talk to. I've enclosed the photo that you asked me about. Mark, Lizzie loved you so much. She will always be your little girl. Love, Cheryl. Thank you.